hello students uh, in today's session we will going to learn about the types of keys on keyboards and numeric keypads and into the last class we already learn what is the keyboard skills so keyboard skills is very important for the touch typing and you well understood what is the touch typing and now we going to start the types of keys on keyboards so let's start so types of keys there are several input devices we have mouse touch screen character voice recognition etc used for giving input to the computer yet the use of keyboard is the most common method adopted for input of data into a computer a computer keyboard contain the following types of keys so students we have different types of input device we already learn different types of input device like mouse touch screen characters and voice recognition but the keyboard is mostly used for the input of data purpose so now first types of keys is alpha numeric keys what alpha numeric keys all of the alphabets a to z and numbers 0 to 9 on the keyboards are called alpha numeric keys so the all a to z and 0 to 9 keys are called alpha numeric keys next types of keys is punctuation key punctuations punctuation punctuations are actually are the separator what these all are the separator so all of keys associated with punctuation such as comma periods means full stop semicolon brackets and parentheses this is the square bracket clear and this is called parenthesis we can say curly bracket and so on also all the mathematical operations such as the plus sign minus sign and equal sign these all are comes under the punctuation key if i am asking you how many types of punctuation keys are so you will define about these keys next key we have alt key short for alternates what this is the alternate key and this key is like a second control key this is used for the controlling purpose so we also learn how to use the alt key commonly i think you all know that alt plus f4 keys used for the close any types of application so such type of use is for the alt key next arrow keys there are four arrow keys to move the cursor up this is the up down right and left so we have the four arrow keys next shift or alt keys to move the cursor in more than one position at a time if you want to move cursor more than one position not a single character more than one position so you can use the shift or alt key back space key delete the character just to the left of the cursor so when the cursor position is there if we use the back key so what happened so it will delete the character and moves the cursor to the position and it will move on that position which character has been deleted caps lock key it is the toggle key which when activated causes all alpha numeric character to be upper case 
means if the caps lock in your keyboard you see the caps lock and press on it so what happened when the caps lock will be on so the all character will be print the in upper case so that is a function of caps lock key control ctrl keys that is called control key the control key is used in conjunction with other keys to produce control character the meaning of each control character depends on which program is running so according to the programs we use that key for the executing different types of commands also and delete keys the del we also say that del delete the del key deletes the character at the current cursor position or the select object but does not move the cursor so with the help of the delete key you can also delete the character for graphics based application the delete keys deletes the character to the right of the insertion point so that in graphics application so that delete the character from the right of insertion point enter keys or return key next key we have the enter key and return key you can say it used to enter commands or to move the cursor to the beginning of the next line so with the help of the enter key we can enter different commands be able to execute different commands and we also move our cursor to the beginning of the next line so that is the use of the enter key as cap key the cap key is used to send the special codes to devices and exit from program and task so that whenever you face some problem and face some error so you can also exit and move from with help of the es key means escape key that is very helpful when you not able to uh, apply any commands properly so you can also press the escape key and you will exit from that task next you have the function keys the special keys label f1 to f12 means the this is the in uh, in the upper parts the law uh, the upper parts is called the function part so that the special keys label f1 to f12 these key have the different meaning depending on which program is running so that meaning is changed according to the program so we have these all are the types of keys which are available into the keyboards alphabets keys punctuation keys alt key arrow keys shift or alt keys backspace keys caps lock key control key delete key enter or return key you can say escape key and function key so these are the types of the keys and all keys we understood properly so you note down these all keys and also note down its definition